So once again, I'm going to show you how to replace um, your existing 4 gig RAM on your MacBook Pro 2011 with uh, 8 gigs, 2 4 gigs uh, in each slot. So first thing what you need to get a requirement for this is you need to get a Phillips number double zero uh, screwdriver okay you need to make sure you get something that's really sturdy something that's not cheap uh, you could get it you get your on many of these on um, on uh, these online stores for cheap but uh, you gotta make sure that something's a quality not of you want to get something from uh, the name so the double zero uh, Phillips uh, number uh, double zero screwdriver and there are ten screws on all all over the side so we're gonna start from uh, right hand side and work around and make sure you turn off the power uh, from your MacBook Pro unplug it and also you can't remove the battery so it, because it's built inside uh, it's turned off and also your MacBook Pro is on something um, um, soft because you don't want it scratching up or anything so let's start off and be very gentle don't be rough okay there we go and if you see that your screwdriver is not doing a good job lose it and get a better one because you're not using the right screwdriver it should be very easy it shouldn't be tough at all And also what I like to recommend is that um, make sure you know where each of these screws go because there are um, longer ones and there are shorter ones. You know what? You don't even need it. Just pull it up. You see how easy to put it to come up? Put it to the side. Now, as you can see, you have access to the hard drive, the hard drive, the um, slot slot load uh, DVD drive, and also the battery. Well, our main concern is here the RAM. What we're gonna do is. Like on any other laptop, you're gonna push it to the side and it's gonna pop out. Drag each lever to the side and it pops out. And just pull it out gently. Right? One out. And one more. Same thing. Follow the same procedure. should come out nice and easy make sure both levers on both sides give it a little top see this it comes out beautiful put it to the side the same way that you took it out get your new RAM my new RAM give it a little tilt Put it in. The first one is in, and the second RAM is somewhere here. Oh, there we go. Same thing. You give it a little tilt. And press it down. 
It's not going in. Just push the lever to the side. And voila. Your ROM is in. And you do follow the same procedure. You want to close the lid. Let's take a look. Everything is in. RAM is in. Okay. Now, the same way you unscrew the unscrew it, you're gonna screw it back in with the same screws and the same screwdriver. You don't want to mess up mess up the long one for the short one. So that's why you gotta make sure with the orientation. Not don't do not over tighten it. Do not put too much pressure on it. Just a little. Notch. Just to make sure you don't miss anything. That's it. Voila. And you want to turn it back on. Flip it. Put it up. And press on the power button. Now. How to check. If you have 8 gigs of RAM installed properly. Let's go to the Apple icon on the upper left hand corner, click on it, you'll see about this map, click on it, more information, click on it, it's going to say processor 2.3 into Core i5, and then underneath it's going to say 8 gigs of RAM, 1333 megahertz DDR3, but there's a dedicated tab for memory, click on it, you're going to see 4 and 4. All memory slots are currently in use. And you maxed, you just maxed out with 8 gigs of RAM only for 40 bucks. Okay, RAM is a lot cheaper. You don't need to buy expensive RAM for $200, $300. So here, here you go, the cheapest way to upgrade your upgrade your um, MacBook and I'll leave the link below of the particular memory I bought uh, thank you for watching please subscribe and good luck